we want to see the things we are made of wood. So first we have this. This one is a stool. The intervener guides the learner to explore furniture like stool, small table, a chair, desks, and a bed by touching. This exploration enables the learner to differentiate the shape of the stool from other furniture. The exploration also enables him or her to imagine what he or she is expected to do. Yes, yes. So this one is a cupboard. Eh? You draw this. Yes. You can also open here. Uh -huh. Yes. Like that, like that. Yes. Before we start working with timber, we must think of safety rules. Safety precautions must be observed in any working environment. This enables the learner and others to avoid accidents and injuries. The intervener guides the learner to observe safety precaution for self and others by not playing or running in the working area, not throwing tools or materials to a friend and not using hammers or saws with damaged handles. We now select we select, we select, we select, we select tools. Selection of the right tools and quality materials enable the learner to make quality products. We have a jack plane. Okay. Eh, eh, this one, this one. Eh, B. So after use, you keep it on sides. So that one. Then you also have another small one here so this small one here is also a plane we use it last uh, we use it last after use we keep it on the sides then we have another tool which we use so much here that is a saw a saw a saw yes this one so when you are cutting you have your hand one hand outside like this then you cut, you cut, you cut. When you finish, you keep it here. Then we have another tool, which is called a tri-square. Uh, tri this one, yes. So this tri-square, yeah, this tri-square is also used for marking. You use it for marking marks before you start chopping. Then we also have that one. We also have another plane, this one. This plane is called stock shave. So stock shave is used hmm, for making round, round, round curves like this. Hmm? Hey, this one, this, yes. This one, this one, that one. So we use a spoke, a spoke shave. We use a spoke shave like that. Then we also have a hammer. A hammer. We have a hammer. We use it also. We keep it here. We have another one here, which is called a tape measure. Tape measure. Tape measure. Eh? For taking the length. The length of oh, yes. Good. 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 So we have a tape measure. We also have a brush. We shall use for painting. We have a hand brace. Hand brace we shall use for boring holes. We shall use this one for boring holes. You have up there and then you have it down here. Then you, you use it, you use it, that is good. Ah, yeah. We also have nails here. We have nails. So these ones are nails. The nails. We have big nails. We have small ones. Yes. When you are making a joint, hmm, eh, you will use a chisel. So this one is a chisel. You hold it this side, a chisel, and then a mallet. 
then you knock. Good. Then, after you have finished working, you now use a sandpaper. Sandpaper, you will now use the sandpaper scrubbing to make it smooth. Yes, like that. So, after that one, when we get to the materials we'll use in making a stool. In making a stool. Yes. The intervener guides the learner how to select dry timber without cracks or bends. The learner is also guided how to select appropriate tools for each activity, which may include wood, sandpaper, nails, tape measure, jack plane, hand saw, tri square, smoothening plane, spoke shell, etc. Designs by use of sketches to enable the work to be done properly and production of the required items. The intervener guides the learner how to design using sketches. So we now start measuring the legs. So you see, you, you come here, you feel the tape measure. That is one, that is two, three. So you go up to 18 here. Pieces for making a stool should first be planed straight, flat and square before cutting, shaping and mortising. Planing enables mortising and tenoning to be done correctly and produce quality products. The intervener guides the learner how to measure and cut the top pieces, legs and rails. After drawing the lines now, you have now used the tri-square, you have used a pencil, then you now want to use a saw to cut. Yes, now after cutting this way, now we go to the next step, which is now planing. Then the learner is also guided how to plane all the other pieces while fixed on the bench vice. Also, the intervener guides the learner how to mark and cut mortises and tenons on the legs and rails using bevel square, tenon saw, tri square, chisel and mallet. And then you check with your nails, eh? you check with your nails here. I think there is a hole, eh? you check, there is no hole, there is no hole, you check, there is no hole, you check, there is no hole. After planing, planing, planing all the sides, you now mark the joints. So we now want to mark the joints, yes. So the joints we use, this one here is a tape measure, we, ma we mark the joints with the tape measure, Good. Yes, 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 yes. With the motives. So, good, 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 good. So we now come here. We chop the motives. So chop the motives. Uh-huh. Good. Good. The motis, the finished motis, will be like this hole here. The finished motis will be a hole like this. Now, we go to the making of tenon now. So when we are marking the tenon, we know the size of the motis. Put down, this one down. We know the size of the motis. So you measure the motis that you had made. Yes, 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 you measure the motis. Then you now come on the rail. Now we are marking the tenon. So we are marking the tenon. We are marking the tenon. Then we mark the tenon. We mark the tenon. Then we cut the tenon. So we have now marked our tenon. We now want to cut so that we come up with uh, a mortise and a tenon. So this is how we are going to cut it. 
So we start by cutting here. Then we cut the other side. So after cutting the tenon like this, the, these sides, now we now insert the tenon into the motis. Yes. Then, uh -huh. good. So now you have your motis and your tenon. Now they are together. After testing the joints, the intervener guides the learner how to smoothen the members using the smoothening plane and sandpapers. The intervener guides the learner to apply pornal glue into the mortises, assemble the stool and hold it with clamps for setting up. Good. Ah yeah, ah yeah, that is good. That is so good. Now, we now have this one fitted here, which now will form four legs here. Now we have made the ten motis. The motis is here. Another motis and tenon is here. Another motis and tenon is here. Another one is there. So when we join them together, we make the stand of the stool. Now, after this, we now get to plane smoothening using a smoothening plane. We have this our smoothening plane. You make the parts smooth. Uh -huh. Good. Good. Yes. Now, after finishing that one uh, smoothening, then you use a sandpaper to make it more smooth. Use. After making the legs now, these ones are the legs. Now we have the, the top. The top, which is also, yeah, yeah, you plan well the way you did it, and then we now fit it now here. Now to fit the top, you first of all put the top down, then you put the legs on top, and then you balance it. You balance it. As you balance, you measure, eh? you measure, the ends, you measure, hmm? you measure the ends, you measure. Of course, you check, you, yeah, you first of all touch, and then you, you measure. After that one, yes, after you have now seen, you check with your hands, eh? this way. You check, yes, then you come here. Yes, then you come there. Yes, so if they are all the same, eh? the same, then you now nail, nail, you now nail onto. Yes, you now nail. Uh -huh. Yes, nail. Nail this way. Uh -huh.
Ah, yeah. So after nailing, now you have your stool and then after finishing, we now get to the coating. So bring that one. Now we want to now apply the first coat of varnish on a finished stool. Then the intervener guides the learner how to apply the first coat of clear varnish and leave the stool for some time to dry. The learner is guided to resand the stool and apply the second coat and leave it to dry. We start by uh, varnishing the top here. We varnish the top first and then we varnish the legs. Eh? So, yeah, dust, da just dust it to remove the dust. Yes, yes. Eh. Then, yes, so now we now want to apply the varnish here. Yes, you varnish, just varnish the whole side. Yes, again, small. Uh -huh. You now lie it down. Yes. Yes. Good. Ah, yeah. After, after you finished applying the first coat, eh, yeah, you let it there to dry in the sun, eh, in the sun to dry. Eh? Then you again apply the, the second coat, eh, the second one. And then you put it in the sun to dry. Eh? Then again, again you apply the, th the third coat. So now finish up and then you take it to the sun to dry. The intervener also guides the learner to resand the stool with a fine sandpaper. Apply the final coat and leave it to dry. Finally, the intervener guides the learner how to store the stool and clean the working area. The learner can make stools for personal use, for the family or for sale to earn a living. So now we have finished working, eh? we now clean, clean the bench, yes, so you collect all the tools, yes, so let us collect all the tools, then we clean the area, so that it means good, yeah, yeah, so let us collect, yeah, this one you put inside there, yeah, uh -huh. this one. After you finish making this tool, you can use it alone eh, in your house. Eh? Eh, when you wake up, you, you sit on the stool eh, in the house. Again, you can also use it with your family. Eh, with your family. Yeah. <laughs> then you can also sell. You can also sell. Mm. You can also sell. Eh, sell. Yeah. And then you get ma money. Eh, then you become very happy. Yeah. Very happy, you've got money. True. So now we are going to make eh, a rolling board. Eh? So the rolling board is like this. Shake. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Good. The rolling board and pin are items used to roll dough into various shapes as desired, and in this case, chapati shape. The intervener guides the learner to explore both the board and the pin by touching or seeing using the residual sight they might have. This exploration enables the learner to have a feel of what he or she is expected to make. We now want the, the timber that we are going to use. 
So the timber, the timber we are going to use is this. So we use timber from like this. Selection of right tools and materials enable the learner to produce the quality items. This one here is cypress. The, the, the wood there is cypress for the top. The size, this one here is eight by one. We are going to join them together to make 12. Yes, so we are going to join to make 12. Eh? Yes, so this one here is cypress for the top. So first we measure. Hmm? Now we measure one foot, yes. The intervener guides the learner how to measure the required pieces from 12 by 1 inches, 2 by 2 inches and 1 by 1 inch pieces using a tape measure and a tri square. So we now mark the way we have marked. So I want you to cut there, then you cut there, you cut here, then we plan to join so that we come up with the top. The yes. pieces are held firmly on a bench vise and cut using a hand saw. Then the intervener guides the learner how to plane the pieces according to requirement. If you are now finished cutting, you now plane, plane, yes, plane the two pieces, then you will join them together. I continue. Now, see, we have two pieces. Pieces, they were two. Now we have joined them together. This one, that one, they are together now. We want now make this, the, the circle. So we now bring this, we put on top. Mm -hmm. Then you draw it then. Yes. Yes. Mm. Good. Now move this. Yes, 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 yes. So now, yeah, yeah. Now, after you have drawn, after you have drawn all round, now you use uh, so that one. We bring that. Yes. You now use this. Hmm? You cut here. You cut here. You cut here. And then you cut here. Then eh, yes. After cutting, you fix the board onto a bench using a shas F cram. So you now fit it well, you make it tight, yes, tight. You now put this one aside, you use now a spoke shape here. Now to, to make it shape, you shape it. You shape it now like that, so that you give it a shape. So, so use it now to give it a shape, a good shape now. The learner yeah. is also mm -hmm. guided how to mm -hmm. shape round yeah. the board uh -huh. using spoke shape mm -hmm. and both screw holes on the legs yes. using ratchet yes. press. Mm. Mm. When the, we have finished now the, the, the top, now we want to bore the holes for the base. Eh? Bore the holes. The learner is also guided on how to smoothen mm -hmm. all the parts before fastening the shaped legs on the underside of the round board using screws. Now, yes, now we had drilled the holes from the top to the legs. Now we now insert the door well. Now, yes, just hit hard down to the legs, just hit it hard. Yes, in the fika mwisho. Now you cut. Cut. Now after we have fitted onto the legs, now we use a sandpaper to make it smooth. Yeah, now make it smooth. Finally, the learner is guided to sand the whole board, dust and wrap it for sale.
Okay, now, now that we have made it smooth, we don't vanish the top, we only vanish the legs. Because if we vanish here, then the vanish is going to be cleared with the oil and then we shall eat, which is bad. Eh? So we only vanish the legs here, but here is left free. We now are going to vanish the first coat. Ah, yeah. Now, just. Uh -huh. Now, we hold it this way, hold it up, hold it up, and then you leave it in the sun to dry for some time, then you, you come back. Yeah, weka. Then you let it there to dry, and then again, after drying, Eh, eh, you, yeah, yes, yeah, yes.